Hi beauties. Today is all about saving money and smelling good because I have a entire bag of fragrance goodies courtesy of Alt Fragrances. So if you're not familiar with Alt Fragrances, you've probably seen them on like a YouTube or an Instagram or a Facebook ad. And that's where I saw them and hadn't tried them yet. And when they reached out to collaborate on this video, I was so excited. The fun thing about Alt Fragrances is they're basically a dupe fragrance. Site. They take a high-end fragrance and take notes and inspirations from that and then create their own version for a lot less money. So what we're going to go through today is four fragrances to see are they worth it or maybe should you just stick with the high-end one. So I went into stores to sample all the high-end ones and in this video I am going to give you my thoughts, good and bad, so you know where to spend your money and where maybe you can save some money through all fragrances. So before we get into that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. Give this video a big thumbs up and cue the intro. I know I look absolutely ridiculous in this video. So as we go through, I am going to pop up on the screen for you the comparison of the high-end cost versus the alt fragrance cost. It'll also show you how big each version is in case there's a slight difference because that does play into things. I also, during COVID, it was a little bit tough to go into stores and smell these because I do have some fragrances, but I didn't own any of these. So I had to go in. I checked out a Sephora. I checked out an Ulta. I checked out some random fragrance stores. Um, so let me play a couple of clips there just for your viewing pleasure. But I don't have that much because I was trying to be COVID cautious for my sake and for the sake of the workers there. So I didn't do too much filming, but I was able to smell all the fragrances I needed to. So take a look at those real quick. All right, we're going to see what we can find today at Ulta. I'm not actually sure if I can even smell these fragrances right now with COVID, but we're going to find out because here we are. Woohoo! All right, so it looks like they have the testers out. Now we gotta find out what we're looking for. So each of the alt fragrances comes in these really, really pretty boxes, very bougie looking. Let's see which one I pulled out. I'm not even sure, but we will go with that one first. Okay, so this is Alt Splash number 10. This is inspired by the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for Women. This was one of the ones I was most excited to try because I have used this in like a previous life. I didn't have any of it right now, but I was very excited. I did save a couple of the little testers. I tried to put them in their individual bags so they wouldn't get messed up. They're not giving you the little vials right now due to COVID, but I was able to at least get this and ugh. Dolce & Gabbana light blue smells so good. I really like it. It's really fresh and oceany and clean. So from Alt's website, their dupe is described as a fresh, light, bright, and sparkling scent for women. Um, it has notes of fresh lime, citrus, blending down to a mix of green, apple, and fresh flowers. So I was very excited. I'm going to re-smell it, of course, so we get a true test here on camera. The good thing in each one of these is I definitely could tell what they were inspired from. I can definitely smell light blue in this perfume for sure, but I don't think they're exact replicas, which is, which is okay. I don't need them to be exact replicas. I kind of just enjoy the inspiration. So with this one, I find the true Dolce & Gabbana to be slightly softer, more feminine, more airy kind of. So I think... I think that's the main difference that I smell. With the Alt Fragrance, I think it's a little bit stronger. It has a slightly higher to me chemical smell, but it's not distracting. It's not chemically to where I wouldn't buy it or I wouldn't purchase it. So I would say close. Definitely if you're looking to save some money, this is a good fragrance. I do like it and it is a nice um, big bottle of it. So, so far not doing too bad. Not an exact dupe, but definitely close. All right, the next one I have is Alt Cherry Smash. This is number 12, and this is inspired by the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Another really good fragrance. I have never owned this one. It is so expensive. So I was very, very excited to see if this was going to be a dupe or not. This one from Alt's website is inspired by Lost Cherry, a journey into the once forbidden, a contrasting scent that reveals a tempting dichotomy of playful candy-like gleam on the outside and luscious on the inside. Ripe cherries dripping in cherry glistens with a slight touch of bitter almond note. This one I noticed is very, very well reviewed 
on Alt's website. It has 443 reviews and is a 4.5 star. So it's very popular. This was the one that I found to be the most close dupe when I smelled this one in stores. This one I had a hard time finding. I had to go to a little hole in the wall fragrance store and they just had like a little sample of it. But this one is such strong of a cherry scent. I love it. This reminds me of a cherry chocolate tort that I used to make with my mom literally every year. So this out of the four, I'll get to it. But this of the four is my absolute favorite. I will probably start wearing this every day. Now, if you don't like fruity type things, this one probably won't be your favorite. I would stick with um, one of the others, but this smells really good. I don't get any sort of chemical smell with this one. It's just nice and light and cherry. Okay, men, this is for you. I don't know how many guys actually watch my channel, but here you go. This is truffle number five. And this is inspired by the Tom Ford Black Orchid. I had to get a male and a female Tom Ford just because I always want his products and I can never afford them. But I have this little tester from the store that I found this one in. Ugh, I like this one. Guys, this is a good one. This Tom Ford is amazing. Anything Tom Ford is amazing. But you can see it is expensive. This is also very highly rated. It just doesn't have quite as many reviews, so it's hard to really tell. But this one on their website is described as inspired by their dark, daring black orchid, a musky, evocative scent that conjures up images of exotic nights in the Far East. At first scent, you'll notice the warm note of yangling, followed by black truffle, bergamot, and jasmine. So really, really good things in there. Really, really kind of seductive things in there. It's a fragrance that's woody, rich, and heady with fiber undertones of citrus that make it suitable for daytime use. You could certainly put this on just kind of light for daytime and get a little bit heavier for nighttime. I wouldn't overdo it though. This is one of the ones that could go too far in the wrong direction. This one kind of reminds me like what I thought of with the um, splash versus the light blue. It can smell a little bit chemically or a little bit strong. This one could go too far in the fact of do you have that like uncle or grandfather that puts too much cologne on and then you just smell like him the whole time? This one could definitely have that issue. So apply sparingly. Um, I find the Tom Ford to be slightly lighter, slightly, slightly less fragrant, but in a good way. So I can definitely see how this is inspired from it, um, but not an exact dupe. Again, the Tom Ford Lost Cherry so far has the best dupe comparatively between the three. Okay, the last one we have is Crystal. This is number 23. And this is a dupe for maybe one of the most high-end fragrances on this planet, which is the Baccarat Rouge number 540. This one was extremely hard for me to find in a store, but I finally found one in like a specific perfume store. I They didn't even sell it at Ulta. But this one on Alt's website has 2,400 reviews and is almost a five-star rating. This one is described as bold, unflinching, and designed to grab attention without compromise. Crystal features exotic notes of rich jasmine and saffron combined with the warm tone of cedarwood and subtle amber gris. So this one, I think I was most excited to see if it was dupable because the, the high-end fragrance is so expensive. So let's get this. I'm going like all the way up my arm so that I don't interact with the other th three. I'm going to smell crazy. My cat is not going to know what to think when I'm done with this. But let's get this up here. Mmm. This really smells so good. I love this one on its own. I don't think it is as close of a dupe for me as the Lost Cherry was. However, I really, really love this one. It is very close to the original. I don't have the little tester strips because they were collecting them. I was able to compare it in the store and it is close, not exact but still very close. This would be a great gift, especially if you do not have the money to spend on that higher end price point. This really does smell great just in its own. Nice, pretty packaging, um, nice glass containers. And remember, these are inspired by, but you could absolutely accidentally trick somebody out on the street by smelling like it, and they're gonna think you have that high end fragrance on. I do think that this, for at least my nose, <laughs> is the most closely duped 
to the high-end fragrance, but they all, I can definitely pick up on their inspiration. I can definitely pick up on the notes that say they should be in them. I did compare like the ingredients and the notes on Sephora's website versus Alt's website, and they are very, very similar. So if you have a birthday or an anniversary or something coming up, absolutely check out this website. It is going to be worth it. Thank you all for sending these over to me. I really enjoyed it and I'm going to love working these into my everyday routine. Lastly, let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite perfume scent? I would love to know. And have you been able to find a dupe for it? Thank you all for hanging out with me today. If this is your first time to my channel, I am so glad you found me. If you are returning, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, take a chance to do so. And don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.